Hello, today's three minute video is looking at a 1870s, possibly 1880s photograph of the dockyard. It's quite an interesting photograph because I believe the Keyham steam yard, which by this time should be well underway, has been painted out by an artist in the name of National Security. Have a look yourself and see if I'm right. Here we have an 1870s photograph of the dockyard taken from Kreml. In the foreground, we can see the Kreml obelisk, allegedly to a pig. It was a, a pet in the Edgecombe family. We can see the dock side of the dock has lots of covered slips in it. And the hammos is pretty full with hulks especially. We see them here. We can see the Royal Albert Bridge in the distance. Here we've got the magazines of what was then and was until about 20 odd years ago RNAD Bull Point. The whole of the countryside behind is rural with fields. So we're talking about St Budo, Barn Barton, Western Mill, completely rural. If you look carefully, we can see the Tor Point Ferry just here. So this must place that spot very close to North Corner because the Tor Point Ferry leaves Plymouth today from the same spot it did then. Over here we have Devonport Column. It looks as if the top's quite black. I wonder why that would be. Here is the tower of Devonport and Market. There is something quite strange here. Have any of you worked it out yet? We're looking at it now. This photograph has to be at the earliest 1870. It could even be 1880. Either way, by now, the expansion of the dockyard to Keyham Steam Yard was quite advanced. And we can see some evidence of it here. because the buildings and slips here would be the old dock. So the issue is, where is the steam yard? Now if you look carefully, there's a very soft edge running along here and this is all greyed out. I'm wondering if Keyham Steam Yard has not been painted out for reasons of national security. What do you think? Here we can see there is some work taking place in the development of the steam yard because here is one of the two huge chimneys of the foundry. I said two. Presumably the other one hasn't yet been constructed. Looking at it, it does look to me after as if there's a little bit of artwork happening. Just look at this line along here. It's got a look to it. I'm not sure about that field.
I think this may be where today we would have what is called the rubble jetty. Even so, it's a lovely photograph. Let's just end by looking at these superb vessels here that were slowly coming to an end and at this time were probably used as training vessels afloat. Thank you for listening and watching.